It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good evening. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost. Okay, so this is weird, but did you guys see this picture online of a chubby sewer rat that got stuck in a manhole? It's this creature that usually is gross, but under these circumstances, it's kind of adorable, and you almost feel sorry for it. That's how I felt watching Michael Cohen testify in Congress. <laughs> Cohen, who looks like he shaves in his car, accused, <laughs> accused the sitting president of fraud, tax evasion, racism, and Republicans fired back like, yep, that's our guy. <laughs> The testimony had so many fun, weird details that no one even followed up about, like how Cohen said that Trump inflated his net worth by $4 billion in an effort to buy the Buffalo Bills. You lied to buy the Bills? <laughs> it's like using a fake ID to get into a Nickelback concert. <laughs> Cohen also provided Congress with copies of letters threatening Trump's high schools and colleges not to release his SAT scores. And while Cohen did not reveal what those scores were, Let's just say Trump lives a little closer to 920 Pennsylvania Avenue than to 1600. <laughs> Michael Cohen told Congress about all the dirty little nasty freaky things that Donald Trump made him do. I don't know why I just made that sexual, but <laughs> I am tired of Michael Cohen's whole damsel in distress routine. Oh, Mr. Trump took advantage of me. I guess I'm a fool. Ugh, you stole a United States presidency. Why are you acting like a bitch now? <laughs> Your voice wasn't trembling when you was threatening school teachers and shaking down porn stars. I want to hear that guy talk to Congress. At least Donald Trump has the decency to slowly fall apart until he's dragged off in handcuffs like a boss. I mean, that's how I want to leave SNL. <laughs> 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 While Cohen was testifying, President Trump met with North Korean dictator and, let's face it, one of his top five closest friends, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Talks broke down when the two leaders could not agree on sanctions. Another problem was Kim Jong-un used an interpreter while Trump just spoke English but louder. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good system. Some people are saying this summit was a big waste of time, and maybe it was, but I did learn that Kim Jong-un has a sister. You see her? I don't know what she does, but she's always hiding somewhere behind him. And it's adorable as hell. She's like a little Korean, where's Waldo? And then just earlier today, Trump spoke at the CPAC conference for, I'm not exaggerating, two hours and 20 minutes straight. And it started with Trump coming out and hugging the American flag like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. The hell was that? And then after that patriotic Me Too moment, it, it somehow got crazier from there. Here's the taste. Our country's in big trouble, folks, because we have to get it back. Darling, is the wind blowing today? I'd like to watch television, darling. The attorney general says, I'm going to recuse myself. And I'm in the White House, and I was lonely. I said, let's go to Iraq. So I met generals I didn't know. General one, general two, general three. I said, what's your name? Sir, my name is Raisin. What the hell kind of a name? I said, Raisin, like the fruit? Seven trillion dollars and we have to fly in with no lights. Please get us the emails. Please. I'm going to regret this speech. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's self-aware. Anyway, if you're curious, Trump's handling the Cohen testimony really well.